sawing a plow in Old Krusty. To help support the weight, we're going to go ahead and put an airbag kit in. Here's what uh, all came with it. So the first thing I did here is I took the four bolts that hold the sway bar up uh, out and pivoted this whole plate down. I found that the axle didn't want to go down far enough when this plate was attached. It just made it easier. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, take these shocks out. If you were saving your shocks, you'd want to remove the uh, lower bolt on the back one and take the top off the front one. I found taking the nut off the bottom of the front one doesn't give enough clearance to actually remove it. So here I have my jack underneath this axle. I have a little bit of tension on the spring and I have the tops of the shocks undone. I'll go ahead and remove the shocks completely now. Now with the shocks removed, I'm going to take this little hook off. Um, that's what's holding the top of the spring on. And uh, the spring has just got a little bit of preload on it right now with this floor jack. Looks like she's hanging on there a little bit. Let's see what happens here. Not good for the trouble light, but uh, got the spring loose. Here's that J-clip that holds the top of the uh, spring on. You can see it hooks onto the chassis on this end. The bolt goes through there. So there's the bolt. Um, no matter what, this thing has to go on top of that. So according to the instructions, if the bolt uh, faces the other direction, you would use this. And if it's the way it is, you don't need it. Um, when we inflate this, this tab actually comes with the bottom of this airbag. I'm going to leave the spacer in anyway, though, because these springs are pretty tall. So I've made a, uh, a plug for this airbag. And after you push it in, it locks. If you pull this ring back, you can get it back out of there. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and deflate this airbag and plug it. Now I'm going to attempt to get this airbag into the center of the spring, and after I will shove this disc in. I'm trying to get this in here without puncturing it. At this point, I'll uh, go ahead and put this disc in here. So at this point, I have the bag roughly where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug out. So the spring wasn't lining up, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and raise this axle here and actually put the spring in that clip back in before I proceed. So I got this J-clip locked on to the uh, top of the shock tower, and I'm going to go ahead and secure the spring. I'm going to bring my uh, airline to the top of the shock tower through this top spacer. I'm going to plug it into the top of the airbag. And notice this installation helps if you rotate that offset uh, filler hole towards the inside of the truck. So here I'm putting my shocks back in and I actually replaced my shocks. And I'm going to preload the spring a little because uh, the shocks actually aren't long enough to get the bolt started. Here's the fill valve. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a couple washers on there drill a hole. Each side has their own fill valve and uh, they give you plenty of tube to install these uh, wherever you want. I chose to put my fill valve uh, on the top of my wheel well. Here I've made a little coil of uh, extra airline and I'm going to plug that in. So at this point I uh, centered my spacers and I'm going to put the tire back on and uh, drop it down. When I drop it down all the slacks can be taken up and these spacers will be locked in place. Hook your sway bar back up. 
So I'm going to lower it down here and uh, we're going to see how much slack comes up from on top of that airbag. we put the full weight of the uh, truck onto it now. According to the instructions, I can inflate this airbag 10 to 60 psi, depending on how much weight I have in, on the front of this truck. It's basically a variable rate suspension now with these things. And so I'm going to go ahead and put some air in here, and you might actually see this truck raise up a little. Here the airbag is inflated to 45 psi. I'll probably adjust it in 5 psi increments until I find a ride I like uh, with the plow. Here's the box that came in. According to the box, uh, a set will carry 500 to 1,000 pounds. So that tells me it's uh, about 500 pounds per wheel. Should work out pretty good uh, for the extra weight of the plow.